Toyota's RAV4 mid-sized SUV soft roader has been around so long it's easy to forget quite how far it's come. The fifth generation model is bigger, better finished and far more efficient thanks to an exclusive reliance on hybrid power. And Toyota hasn't forgotten that cars in this class need to look good and drive well too. Reacquaint yourself with it, you might be in for a surprise. If you've experience of the RAV4 model line, it won't take long behind the wheel of this fifth generation model to realize that what's served up here is a big dynamic improvement on the forgettable experience that you got at the wheel in the previous generation model. Thanks to a much stiffer GAK platform and a lower centre of gravity, the car turns keenly into corners at speed and there's less understeer than you'd expect in a car of this kind, plus plenty of traction to power you out of the other side of the turn. The self-charging hybrid powertrain's new too, using a reworked Lexus-derived 2.5-litre VVTi dynamic force engine that puts out 176 brake horsepower, with the rest of the output provided by electrification. The two-wheel drive variant that I'm trying here gets one electric motor mounted on the front axle and develops a combined total of 215 brake horsepower. Toyota, though, expects most customers to pay the extra for the all-wheel drive i4x4 system, which adds a further electric motor on the back axle, upping total power to 219 brake horsepower and providing significantly increased extra traction. Like all Toyota hybrids, this RAV4 can be driven in three ways. By the electric motors only, as is the case from start off for up to 1.2 miles using the provided EV mode uh, with just the engine if you're giving it full throttle, or more usually with a combination of both. During deceleration and under braking, the engine switches off and both electric motors act as high output generators, recovering kinetic energy that automatically recharges the batteries for the next time the hybrid system is able to switch back to electric only mode. The result of all this is a level of running cost efficiency that sees this front driven model able to deliver an any DC rated CO2 figure of up to 102 grams per kilometer and a combined WLTP cycle return of over 51 miles to the gallon on green pump fuel. Less impressive is the belt driven CVT auto transmission this setup must necessarily be mated to, which doesn't take kindly to aggressive throttle inputs. Adopt a smoother style of driving though and you'll probably get on with it just fine. I want people to love this car, says its chief engineer, Yoshikazu Saiki. To like it, to share it on their phones. Is that how the target audience for this fifth generation RAV4 are likely to react to what's served up here? Perhaps. Lower, wider and more angular, it certainly has a degree of character and individuality we haven't seen in RAV4 design since the 1994 original. Behind the wheel, RAV4 regulars will notice the cabin's area feel and much higher quality. A smart 7-inch central display in the instrument binnacle adds to this perception of greater sophistication, which sits to the right of the brand's usual hybrid system indicator, with its normal charge, eco and power sections. Your infotainment needs are covered off by this 8-inch Toyota Touch 2 screen that covers off the usual DAB audio, Bluetooth, navigation and online connectivity options. It isn't cutting edge in terms of graphical sophistication though and misses out on the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone mirroring that's common elsewhere in the class. We do though like the neat energy monitor which shows you at any given time what's being charged or powered by what. You also get comfortable seats, uh, good all-round visibility, and plenty of cabin storage. Right, let's take a seat in the rear. Well, we're a little disappointed to find that this bench doesn't slide as it would in rivals like Volkswagen's Tiguan or Audi's Q3, but the backrest reclines for greater comfort on longer journeys, and headroom's good too, despite the lower roofline. 
thanks to this fifth generation model's extra 30 millimeters of wheelbase length there's also plenty of room for legs and knees and helped by the 10 millimeter increase in body width toyota claims that lateral space between two rear seated occupants has been increased by 40 millimeters too in other words there's less chance of a couple of adults digging each other in the ribs it's time to take a look in the boot once the tailgate's raised, a decently sized 580 litre luggage area is revealed. And when the rear seat is folded, well, there's no fold flat front passenger seat option to allow for the carriage of really long items. So it's just as well that there's 60 millimetres of extra luggage area length this time around as part of a 1,690 litre total capacity. Petrol electric engines aren't, of course, the ultimate answer to planet friendly SUV motoring but there's certainly a great alternative to smoky diesels for the time being, and one that taxation breaks will richly reward you for choosing. Now, those are boring but important reasons why we might recommend this car to you. Fortunately though, unlike some of its predecessors, this fifth generation RAV4 also has a few more emotive draws. Enough to restore Toyota to prominence in this crucial segment? It'll be interesting to see.